Okay, well this is the second part of the Jaguar video. So what we did last time, we effectively programmed X1 to slow the unit down to 25 hertz when there was a 1 put on there. What we're going to do now is get the unit to forget or disable this pot here and now we're going to control forward and reverse using these two terminals down here. So if we put a 1 on forward it should go forwards up to 50 hertz and if we put a reverse on there it should go into reverse. Okay, so we'll have a go at that. So what we have to do there is go to the F1 codes I beg your pardon, F2 codes uh, run stopping and rotational division here. This is on page 5.3 of the manual and what we want to do is enable the external signal command forward or reverse to run the motor. So that's F2, code F2 with a data 1 on each one of the on, on, on F2 rather. So we're going to change F2 to a data 1. So let's have a look at that. So there's F1. We want F2 and the data is going to be 1 and I save that by pressing that button so I can go back and now if I run it you'll notice nothing happens on these keys because now we've transferred the function of the start and stop effectively to these pins here, these connectors here. So the pot's disabled and these two buttons are now disabled. And if I put a 1 on forward, like this, you can see it's accelerating in a clockwise direction. I take it off, it decelerates and if I put it on to the other way it should reverse and it's gone anti-clockwise by putting it on reverse. So if I suddenly swap them over it waits until it's decelerated and then reverses in the opposite direction. Okay, so now I can control the speed, I can get it down to half speed by putting it a 1 on X1 and I can get it going forward or reverse by putting it on, putting a 1 on forward or reverse. Okay, so we'll then have a look at those in 